green card lottery photo millions of people are denied and not winning the diversity visa lottery because of the mistakes they are doing in the diversity visa lottery photo i want to go through all the important things and instructions and requirements on the diversity visa photo when you apply for the dv lottery there are two important filters or two important steps you finish applying before you go to the be what we call eligible person to be drawn in the selection process there are people are going to be eliminated because of so many other factors and then when you go to the filter then you can either win or not win but millions of people are not winning are not even in the selection pool because of the photo so why this photo is so important is because the photo requirements is based on the passport photo of the united states of america is based on the visa photo requirement of the united states of america and not requirements in your country requirement number one is the background of the photo the passport photo will have been used in many countries usually has a blue background or it has red background majority of the passport in so many countries so for instance this will be a photo this will be a background we are used to this background for instance so if we use blue background white background, i mean green background use red background or any other background you are automatically going to be rejected not going to the second phase of the selection process the background of the photo for the u.s visa for the u.s passport must be a plain white background so use a sheet use a wall but which is white you can be able to do that you can use some software to take out the background to put a white background or plain background you are allowed what is not allowed is for instance for me like i i shaved my hair i'm going to put like so much hair like this way or you have dreads you are going to take off your dreads by photoshop for uh for adobe whatever those are not allowed don't doctor whatever and take complete features from your photo in that particular way number two this photo is a digital photo there are some people go to the studio some of the studios they don't give you a digital photo so they print out the photo and it, someone is taking a is a phone and take a picture of a picture no don't take a picture of a picture if you go to the studio if they take a photo of you tell them to put you in the flash usb or memory card or they send to your email direct so it is a digital photo don't print it out and then you start taking a picture laying down no when you go to upload the photo the post photo must be uploaded in a portrait format if you upload it in the horizontal format like oh it, it, it comes this way or this way it means you are going to be denied on the next phase another requirement on the photo you are not supposed to wear glasses from 2018 is a requirement for the u.s passports not to wear glasses so if you have eye problem take off your glasses that's another instruction apart from not wearing the glasses you have to look front this is a front portrait photo don't start looking on the side or look up look down look on the side if you do that you are eliminated there are no shade no shadow or any shade is supposed to happen here so you have to look if you are taking the photo from outside make sure that there is no that we know where the shade is supposed to be so don't put a shadow behind you because it will be denied in addition to that the photo itself it has to have the weight the weight of the photo what is the weight of the photo because it's a digital photo 
it is not supposed to exceed 240 kilobytes it can be 1 it can be 10 it can be 7 it can be 50 any whatever it is it is not supposed to exceed 240 kilobytes advantage of the weight is this way if it is exceeding 240 kilobytes it will tell you the photo is too large you need it to reduce the size or the weight of the photo they will tell you but other features if you put a blue background they're not telling you anything the photo you accept but you are going to be denied there you are not allowed to use a photo which is older than six months but you can ask how do they know just to avoid unnecessary things don't use the older photo take it just a brand new photo to make it easier for you the purpose of using the current photo they don't want to use the photo let's say if it's a child six months is a lot of changes but for you if you are that six months there are no much of the changes so there is no problem but i advise you don't take chances just take a brand new photo to use it and if you use a photo from the studio last year or the last review lottery application by instruction you are not allowed to use the previously used photograph if you use is according to the instruction the photo you used in the previous lottery to this lottery you will be disqualified but i've seen myself i've used a photo for a person from the previous lottery in the another lottery and they won but don't take a chance because it's the instruction you can be an example not winning so you have to make sure that you don't take any unnecessary mistakes which are supposed to cause you not winning the dv lottery more instructions more things which are people asking about that are like this way okay uh you are not allowed to wear maybe a cap you are not allowed to wear the uniform unless otherwise you are a pop pop is the one wearing the uniform every single day or you are a nun you are a catholic sister but if you are wearing a military uniform no take off those uniform they're not going to check oh because you look like a doctor with whatever no don't do that they don't want you to wear a uniform unless otherwise is a uniform which you wear for the rest of your life every single day can you wear hijab yes you are allowed to wear hijab but remember don't wear hijab just for that particular photo you are wearing hijab if you are wearing hijab every single day in your life not if you are wearing hijab today and because it's friday or because it is Eid, and next day you are at the bar with a glass of beer and you're just in a mini skirt no you are if you are wearing hijab obviously even in the day of the interview go wearing hijab and hijab there are different types of hijab don't wear the hijab which shows just the eyes no you wear hijab which will show you your face that's what will be required again some people want to know am i allowed to wear makeup yes you are allowed but remember they are not going to look for the most beautiful person for the most handsome person is not a beauty contest just go there no more just a decent photo because some people they can make a makeup a person a and a person b look like a completely different person a look like someone from kibondo in a small town of kigoma and the person b look like j-lo but it's the same person no you must be exactly the same person with and without makeup so just don't you don't need to put your makeup but if you put put it small are yeah, you allowed to wear earrings yes you can if you want but don't put too much until they completely take you out they don't care but just if you put, put a small one some people have dreads yeah it's okay to have dreads or you have long hair but don't put the long hair to cover your ears to cover everything because all those things must be shown in your photo other instructions when you take a photo it has to be proportional that's why i usually tell people when you take a picture make sure the person who's taking a picture is a little bit far from you that means a picture is like a half when you go to edit it can be from here that like there is a proportion from here to the shoulder and the shoulder to the head but not just the photo to cover just like this way you cannot even breathe like the entire photo is filled with the head no it's supposed to have a proportional uh like a square uh 
four by four, whatever it is, the size, but it has to be proportional. Like at least when it cut, it cut, it has to cut like somewhere here, and it has to have leave a space. There must be a space above your head, not like the photo ends here and there is no any space above. It has to be proportional. These are smaller things, but they can cost you not to win the DV lottery. The photo, another question: Can you use a cell phone or tablet, or you must use a camera? So this question people are asking a lot. But it's very simple. It doesn't matter what device you use. The point is, what is the clarity and of that particular photo? The quality of that particular photo. Because someone can say, oh, the only instruction, they still say, you are not supposed to use a cell phone, you have to use a, you have to use a camera. But let me give you an example. Someone with a camera of $500, maybe Canon, whatever it is, $500 and someone with a Pro Max of $17,000, $1,700. Obvious, the <laughs> iPhone 13 Pro Max has a better camera to take a portrait photo for someone to use as a photo for uh, for DV lottery. So the point is not about what device, the point is the quality and the clarity of that particular photo taken by that device. So it doesn't matter what device you are going to use when you want to do the photo in that particular way. So in my in my in my my encouragement encouragement for you is try to take the photo way before the DV lottery. Don't take the photo right now and you go to do that one. Make sure the photo is correct. There are some people they live in one city, the spouse live in another city, or the children live in another city, or the children live with their other relatives, or the children are in boarding school. Make sure you take the photo in advance so that not at the time of applying, you bring a picture of a dependent, of a child, a child is looking on the side. A photo of the dependent can be used to disqualify the entire family. All photos, the principal and dependents must meet the qualifications and the requirements of the diversity visa lottery. So those are majority of the photo instructions. There are so many, but those are the big one which you need to pay attention for you to use when you are going to apply. Don't be the person to be knocked out, to be eliminated, not to win the DV lottery just because of the photo. Remember, millions of people are not winning the DV lottery is because of the photo. There are other reasons why people are not winning, but the photograph plays a vital role for people not to win in the DV lottery. For the diversity visa lottery, there is a photo component. Are you allowed to wear hijab if you are a Muslim and still apply and win for the diversity visa lottery? The answer is yes. When you apply for the DV lottery, there is a photo which is required. There are so many instructions about the photo. But you are allowed to wear hijab. There are different types of hijab. I'm not a Muslim. But the one you are supposed to wear is the one which will not show, because there is the one which you, it covers everything and it sh just shows you just the eyes. That is not allowed because we do not know who is that person. So you have to wear the hijab which will be able to show your face. That will be allowed. But if you are wearing hijab, make sure you are wearing on the religious background or religious reasons on the, day, the daily basis. Not you wear hijab today and you wait until the next ideal fitri just to go to wear another hijab. No. If you are taking the picture with hijab, it has to be you wear on a constant basis. That's what is required on that particular way. Don't just go wear hijab and the day of the interview you show up just like just without. No. If you're wearing hijab, it has to be constant in that particular way. But it has to be uh, properly showing you your face and not looking on the side. You look front to the camera in that particular way. And for the women who just just cover their head like this way, no. Unless otherwise it's a full hijab in that particular way. No, not, no any kind. Those are exceptions for the religious uh, reasons only. Are you allowed to have makeup if you are taking the diversity visa lottery photo? The answer is yes and no. 
No, in the sense that they are not looking for the most beautiful person or the most handsome person. This is not like you are going to be on the TV, you have to have powder, you have to have whatever, all those kind of uh, craziness in your face. They don't care. But if you are going to put makeup, make sure it's not going to be too much. That means before and after, make two different people. It has to be almost if someone is going to look at you before the makeup and after the makeup, you are almost the same person. They, are, they don't care. The picture is going to the DV lottery application form is not the picture which will be on the visa form when you win the DV lottery. So make sure that don't put makeup and if you put, just put a tiny one, don't start put like lipstick like completely like you are going for the uh like a award show no it's not that way this is not a ready carpet of the oscars no it's just a basic photo which you are required to have it so that they can once you win you go to the interview they know it is you otherwise they'll say oh this is a different person they'll deny you the visa and you'll be surprised so Make sure that you just go as more as natural as possible on this particular photo. What color of shirt, a blouse, gown, dress do you need to wear if you are taking the DV lottery photo? There is no requirement of the color of what you are wearing. There is a requirement you are not supposed to wear a uniform. Unless otherwise you are like Pope Francis or like your job or your profession, like I'm talking like you are a nun, Catholic nun, or you are supposed to wear those ones for the rest of your life, yes. But apart from that, the color doesn't matter. But I usually have advice for people. If you wear white and the background we know it is white, the photo will not look good. So wear the color which it will show the separation between the plain background, the white background, and what you are wearing. For instance, I'm wearing red. So red and this one will be white background will be good. If you are green, you are blue, you are yellow, whatever color is, but the closer to the white is not bad, but it doesn't look good. There is no requirement. I just want to make sure your picture is just better in that particular way because you might wear white but your background is not pure white you are going to put yourself in danger of easy to be eliminated so avoid unnecessary smaller things to be in a position of having a better photo what device are you allowed to use to apply for the diversity visa lottery we know that application for the diversity visa lottery is online meaning you must be connected to the internet to apply for the diversity visa lottery but does it mean that someone who is applying on the laptop has better chances than someone who is using desktop or someone who is using computer in general has better chances than someone who is using tablet or cell phone can you use a cell phone apply and win the answer is yes it doesn't matter what electronic device you use or you are connected to use and apply for the device visa lottery what they want is simple access that website and go and fill that form if you fill the form and apply you have higher chances than any other person you just every person has the equal chance so what is needed is just access of the internet whether that internet is connected through a cell phone and the cell phone might be iPhone, whether it's Android, whether it's techno, people don't care, whether it's tablet, whether it is laptop, whether it's desktop, whether you go to the internet cyber or internet cafe, it doesn't matter what electronic device you are using. Because there is a tendency, oh, I use a cell phone, I use this one. So people think that one device is better than the other. There is no better device than the other than just applying for the diversity visa lottery it's online remember it is online through www.dvprogram.state.gov the only website dvprogram.state.gov is the government website to apply for the diversity visa lottery can you be denied or not win the dv lottery 
just because of the photo which you have uploaded in the DV lottery. A hundred percent yes. The photo of the DV lottery is the most crucial part of the entire application. Millions of people don't go to the second phase of selection because of improper photograph. I have made a video detailing every single thing you need to know about the photo. Every mistake to avoid because of the photo. What I want to tell you or advise you is make sure that you prepare your photo for the DV lottery way in advance so that you have the chance of to correct that photo before you go to apply. Again, if you live with your children, make sure you take them to the studio or a person who can take a very good photo. If the children, they live in the boarding school, when they come at home before the lottery application, make sure that they also go to take a good photo. If your spouse lives in another city, make sure they get the... Make, in your overall, have those photos. Because some people on the day of the application, they don't have the photo. The kids are in, in, in boarding school, they end up putting zero and they say, oh, I forgot. There is no forgetting that you don't have children. Without the photo, you cannot apply. And the photo of the many applicant is very crucial is the photo of the dependent the derivative if your child has a photo which does limited requirement can be denied and if it is denied his entire family going to be removed from the lottery application so the photo is the most single important aspect of why many people cannot go to the last phase of randomly selection of the DV lottery so take this in higher level of importance put in your higher alert like your entire dream depends on the photo of the developer to be selected